The province of Cagayan is in state of despair for days due to onslaught of Typhoon Goring. Furthermore, the opening of classes in the province did not push through due to the calamities. Noel Talakay tells us more details in this report. Today is the first day of school year 2023 to 2024 at the Tigigara West Elementary School. The opening of classes was scheduled Tuesday, August 29, but was halted due to the onslaught of Super Typhoon Goring in the province of Cagayan, resulting in heavy flooding in the most areas of the province. Philan, a grade 6 pupil, was excited to receive books from her teacher. Masaya po kasi po mag-aaral na po alit. May bago, may bago po ulit na matututun. Despite a late class opening, the principal of the said school assured the parents that no students will be left behind from learning. Nabitin nga yung first day. Everybody was excited, not only the learners, I believe, even the teachers. We ensure here in SDO Tugigro City, more particularly here at Tugigro West Central School, na papalitan namin yung mga missed uh, days. In spite of the disastrous flooding, all public schools in Tugigarao City are still safe and intact. That's why all students there went to school since its 36 public schools in the city are still set and good to go for this school year. Prior to the Bagyo, we already had a meeting with all of them. Nag-release tayo ng pangbrigada eskwela ng bawat eskwelahan uh, na pondo para makapaglinis sila, makapag uh, repair, makapag-ayos ng kung anong kailangan nila. No? She said one of her advocacies as a mayor of Tigigarao is to provide quality education to all the children in her city. Security-wise, kinausap na natin pati policemen to handle the crossing, the traffic. Aside from that, yun yung sabi namin, ano, nakausap na natin lahat mga teachers kung ano yung mga pangangailangan nila for the school year and the next school year. Yesterday, the provincial government of Cagayan announced the lifting of its classes suspension order due to bad weather after the Cagayan Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office or PDRRMO recommended to reopen classes today on the first week of school year 2023 to 2024. Receding na lahat ng mga waterways natin at um, Pinabalik na natin lahat ng mga iba quiz natin and uh, sun, it was sunny yesterday um, kaya siya nag-decide no? na i-lift yung kanyang suspension sa mga klase but uh, it has given uh, an area doon sa mga local chief executives if the situation sa kanila mga bayan ay hindi pa talaga po pwede. However, he said that each municipalities have the discretion to extend or prolong the suspension of classes, just like in the town of Bugay and Aparik, Cagayan, where classes are still suspended over the ravages of Typhoon Guring. According to Cagayan PDRRMO, 106 public schools in Cagayan were devastated by the recent typhoon. Nung bumaba yung tubig from Sierra Madre, uh, binaha sila and uh, affected yung mga schools din nila. No? And uh, kailangan nila maglinis ng mga schools nila. Hindi naman pwedeng uh, papasukin natin yung mga bata na hindi pwede yung classrooms. Noel Talakay for the Nation.